Coleman Glacier on Mount Baker, Washington is an alpine glacier made of compacted snow. As the glacier flows downhill like a slow river, it passes over bumps which cause crevasses to form. Due to the dense nature of the ice, it appears to be blue. It sits in its own U-shaped valley, carved out by the slow abrasion of the sand and the rock it moves. Eventually, it may carve the peak to look like the horn of Mount Shuksan, which was formed by multiple glaciers carving the sides of the mountain to a point. This lake itself was created by a glacier sitting in the cirque, or the beginning of a glacier. It is called a tarn. In the summer season, on mountains, when the soil becomes too wet, it will let go in a landslide and leave gouges in the face of the mountain. A glacier is one type of headwater where a river enters its youth stage. A youth stage river is fast flowing, has steep banks which form a V-shaped valley, and is generally rocky and flows white. Here, in its youth stage, the Cannon River tumbles over Cannon Falls. Waterfalls are a feature commonly associated with youth stage rivers. Nearby, in the forest, erratics, or boulders moved by glacial plucking, are everywhere and are hard to distinguish from other boulders which came to be from frost shatter or thermal expansion which generally occurs when ice gets into a crack in a rock and expands, causing it to break apart, often falling to the base of the rock in the form of scree. In this forest, many of the rocks are being broken down by plants, whose roots find their way into cracks and, much like ice, expand, causing the rock to break apart. Eventually, rocks will find their way to the ocean in the form of sand or silt. The river enters its mature stage further downstream, Mature stage rivers are generally found in the bottom of more gradual valleys, such as the Lewis and Clark River in Oregon. It will carry fertile soil onto its floodplains in the form of alluvium. Finally, the river will reach the old stage, the final stage before entering the ocean. Many rivers enter meanders, creating oxbows. However, the Columbia River simply becomes a massive river nearly six kilometers wide near where it reaches the ocean. It is slow moving and is in the bottom of a massive flattened valley. This particular river is large enough to be navigable and is affected by ocean tide. Finally, the water of the river meets the ocean. In Hawaii, the state's only dunes along the 21 kilometers of naturally occurring beach foreshadow the fate of the massive sea cliffs of the Polyhaly coast, which formed around 5 million years ago. These cliffs line the world's wettest mountain range and were created by the hydraulic and attrition forces of the ocean, often causing them to become undercut and very steep. In Oregon, headlands or points of rock that stick further out into the ocean have formed. Eventually, sea caves are formed in the headlands from the pounding force of the ocean. Once they have become visibly larger, they are considered sea arches. This particular arch is embedded in a sea stack, a long, detached headland left alone in the sea. This sea stack is the third largest in the world. Waves will continue eroding the structure until it collapses into the ocean, turning into sand and perhaps one day a part of a spit. Spits are formed when longshore currents will pull the sands off beaches and draw them out into the ocean, sometimes across bays, in the case of this one near Cape Lookout.